guys, how's it going? It's Infernoman again. Welcome back to another episode of the Ultra Moon Randomizing as like If you guys missed in the last episode, we took on Guzma for the third time and Lusamine. What I I think we don't battle her again for a while, at least. I don't know if we battle her again, but we did battle her, so that's all that matters. But uh, if you did miss the last episode, there are plenty of cool battles in there. Lusamine's was pretty tricky. She had a Talon Flame that kept on trying to destroy our team, so. Definitely worth watching, make sure you go check it out before you watch this one, but in this episode we're going to be heading to Pony Island to start our trials over there. That is really exciting. We will be getting the Master Ball from Gladian in this episode, so there's that as well. But that's all we're going to do in this episode, uh, probably just mostly encounters. Uh, we'll have to see, but without further ado, let's get right into the team recap. Okay, that's not what I wanted to go into. We're not going into the bag right now, we're going into the Pokemon. We're going into our party. Alright, starting off the team recap, we have Lou the Seismitoad, named after my friend Schoolboy Lou with Muddy Water, Bubble Beam, Drain, Punch, and Mudshot, holding the Water EMZ. Dean the Ho, named after Dean plays games with Sacred Fire, Fire Blast, Origin Pulse, Brave Bird, and Fawn EMZ. Spotty the Mega Venusaur, named after Spotty 321 with Growth, Razor Leaf, Sleep Powder, and Petal Blizzard, holding the Grass EMZ. Yurami the Sokaleo, named after Yurami with Zen Headbutt, Crunch, Flash Cannon, and Iron Head, holding the Steel EMZ. Brian, the Lucario, named after my friend Mega Master XY, with Heal Pulse, Mel Claw, Power Up Punch, Bone Rush, and holding the Phytinium Z, and last but not least, Vandy, the Bennett, named after my friend Vandy323, with Phantom Attack, Will O Wisp, Hex, and Shadow Ball, holding the Ghostium Z. So that is the entire squadron. Wonderful, wonderful squ squadron. Um, you know, I don't know how anybody could not love this team. We got. Two legendaries, a mega evolution. We got two. Ev two. <laughs> I don't know. We just looked at the team and I already forgot. Okay, we have two legendaries. We have our starter mega starter Pokemon. We have an awesome Seismitoad. We have an awesome Lucario, and we have an awesome Bennett. So yeah, one poten two potentially mega uh, evolving Pokemon. One Pokemon that's automatically mega evolved. Two. Legendaries and one very awesome regular Pokemon with no strings attached. Just an awesome Seismitoad that's been here for a long time. But there's Lily in her new Z-powered uniform or outfit, whatever you want to call it. She changes her look a bit here. But her brother is about to come in and give us the Master Ball, so... Hey, speak of the devil. Sun Flute, yep. R one of the greatest things and the most notable things about Pony Island is that we get to summon Lunala there, uh, but in this game it's different because Necrozma just comes out of nowhere like an RKO and just battles with Lunala, fuses with it, and then goes through the Ultra Wormhole right after, you know, Guzma and Lusamine just get shoved out of the Ultra Wormhole, but have you guys ever thought about how Gladion is like the weirdest person to give you a Master Ball in all the Pokemon games. Like he just so happens to have one. It's just like, yeah, here's a Master Ball. Because in the other games you usually get them from either Professors or in Hoenn's case you just find it on the ground in the Evil Team's lair, but... Which is also very weird that they just have that lying around, but then again it's just like, well, they're probably planning on having it to use on whatever elemental legendary that they're trying to use it on, either Kyogre or uh, Groudon, so it would make sense for them to have a Master Ball, but, you know, then again, they do have it just laying on the ground for a 12-year-old child to pick up, so <laughs> that's exactly what happens, but I believe we're supposed to be going to the dock now, because we're going to get on a boat to head to Pony Island. And like I said, we're, we're probably only going to have enough time to get a few encounters, because I know there is a place to encounter Pokemon as soon as we get there. Uh, there's going to be plenty of water around, just like there usually is in islands, on, especially around the outskirts. I cannot get to this. Alright, I guess we're just going to be spending time going through the elevator. This is the elevator episode, everybody. We're just going to be going through elevators. Docks. That's where I want to go. And, uh... There's a little village where we're going to be able to meet Hapu. I think that there's grass over there. I might be wrong, though. And then we're supposed to be heading to the Tapu area to help 
Hapu become a uh, Grand Trial Leader, whatever the uh, island. Kahuna, yes, that's what. I don't know why I forgot what it is, and I completely went to the wrong side for the boat here. You're supposed to be going to the left side, so. This is, yep, there they are. Alright, what is up, Gladian? You guys might notice that I say Gladian and Gladion. I just go with whatever pronunciation my mind sets on. So, sometimes I say Gladion, sometimes I say Gladion. It's potato, potato, tomato, tomato, really. Except for, you know, in this case I say both. But, either way, hopefully you guys don't get too triggered by it. Yo, did you see those things spawn in late there? That was a little weird. <laughs> I mean, these were the 3DS games, so I'm not that surprised, but it was still weird nonetheless. Uh, but, you know, there are some th things to be skeptical about when deciding which games are better, Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But one of the things that makes this game better, uh, one of the components, is that Mina actually gets a trial. Because if you do not know, uh, trials were like a last minute thing for them to put into the games. They were not planning on having trials. They were planning on having actual gyms. And they took the gyms out. Uh, I don't know if there were any gyms done, but they replaced them with the trials. And I guess they kind of ran out of time or something, because towards the end of the game, uh, for one, the dragon type trial does not have a trial captain. It just has you battle the Como O's and Hakamo O's. Uh, that's right. Yeah, Hakamo O evolves into Como O. Jangmo O is the first form. And Mina just walks up to you and gives you the fer uh, Ferium Z. But in this one, she gives you what's kind of like the Grand Trial. It's the final one. And she gives you the Ferium Z in that one. But in both games, both games A, you there's no trial captain for the dragon one, and Hapu just hands you the ground DMZ. But there's gonna be an area where we're gonna need to find the Psyche MZ. So there's a few Z crystals that we get on this island, but only one of them has an actual trial. But I think we battle Hapu, that would make sense. Since you never battle her before, you just battle beside her. So, you know, after becoming the actual Kahuna, battling her would only make sense. Okay, we already have our Pokemon healed, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's check out this... Okay, it's a TM shop. Okay. Let's see what you have here. Uh, Inferno. Sheer Cold! Okay. <laughs> well, we can buy Sheer Cold for 30,000. Is there any 100% accuracy? Like, doesn't look like there's any accuracy increasing TMs here, so... Um, Inferno might be nice, but it's only 50% accurate. Guaranteed Burn is cool, but I don't think there's anything that we need to worry about buying here, so cool that we have uh, Sheer Cold available for $30,000, but right now we do not need it, so let's just go ahead and head into the pony area over here. I keep on wanting to say the wild area, but, but then that's just Galar, so saying the wild area would be be wrong. You know, before I used to call it Wild Area, but when the Wild Area was actually revealed for Sword and Shield, I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't be calling it that now, because that's just going to be referencing Sword and Shield's Wild Area. But our encounter is going to be a Slugma. Okay. Well, I will take a Slugma. Um, see, like, every, usually when I encounter things, like, lately, I keep on thinking that I've already caught, like, another form of their line. But I don't recall us catching a Mag Cargo. I hope we haven't caught a Mag Cargo yet. Because obviously it shows that we haven't caught a Slugma. But we caught it, so... It registering to the Pokedex will show us if we caught a Mag Cargo or not, because it has both side by side. So, have we caught a Mag Cargo? Oh, I guess it's not part of the Pokedex in this game. Never mind then. <laughs> Ooh! It's a female! Well, there's only one name we can name it. If you guys were around for my Pokemon Platinum randomizer Nuzlocke uh, earlier in 2020, then you might know that towards the end of the series, we caught a Slugma in the... Um, is it called it? It's the iron area where you get the Riolu when you battle with us. That other guy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm forgetting names. It's like Iron something. Is it Iron Island? 
that seems like the name for something else in Pokemon, but... If it's Iron Island, then I guess it's Iron Island, but... Anyways, that's where we caught it. We named it Petunia, and it was a Cargo, and it was on our final team. That's all that really matters. That's all I wanted to say. Such an amazing Pokemon. Made me like uh, Cargo a little bit more, and it looks like we get a Berry Static encounter on this route, so... That's a nice as well. It's a Feebas. It is a Feebas, so... Uh, if it's male, that's going to be an easy nickname, but we're not going to be able to use it because... Okay, it's a male. We're going to name it Reversal. Uh, if you watch Reversal early, even know about his shiny hunt, then you'll know why. He's been doing Feebas for over a year. And fun fact, the day I'm recording this, uh, you know, Twitch has a new PogChamp system set up where it's a new PogChamp emote every 24 hours. And only on the second day they've been doing it, they chose Reversal to be the PogChamp emote for the day. Today. And he was supposed to be taking all of January off. And he streamed today just because his face was PogChamp. Uh, but Feebass is so complicated to evolve, I didn't change it to be easier evolutions. So... We won't be able to evolve this into Milotic anyway, so let's just name you Rev after Reversal. And unfortunately, we will not see you in battle ever again. It would be nice to use a Milotic, don't get me wrong. But our current water type is very much loved. As a whole, I prefer this species than uh, over Milotic, so... Uh, we're fine with Seismitoad right now. We're getting some X defenses and mushrooms in here. We can use those to get some moolah later. So I don't use X defenses and big mushrooms are existent so they can be sold. I knew that something was going to be happening over here worth battling someone though. We could have had a Snorlax. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was avoiding all trainers. Because I'm trying to do as little trainer battles as possible. Because we're already running out of time. We have 8 minutes left. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything much other than get our encounters here. This is why I miss doing 30 minute episodes, but people seem to prefer the 20 minute ones, so I'm just kind of doing a trial right now just to see if people really enjoy them, and uh, if not, I'll go back to 30 minutes, but people on Twitter voted on my poll to say that they wanted 20 minute episodes, so we'll have to see. But I feel like games like Ultra, like Generation 7 games, and just any 3DS games, just because of all the dialogue, 20 minutes is not enough, like, especially, yeah, because the dialogue just takes so long, but, I don't know, I guess it's up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see these episodes be a little bit longer again, just 10 minutes longer. I mean, the last episode went to 27 minutes, so that kind of proved that longer episodes are kind of needed, but, you know, whatever you guys prefer, because it looks like all we're going to be able to do this episode is get encounters, so... I saw a totem sticker over there. I'm gonna go grab it, even though, you know, I was planning on getting the rest of the totem stickers later, because, you know, I want to get all the totems uh, with the stickers at the end of the series, because I sure as heck wasn't gonna collect every single one during the series. Because one, you have to fish out, which mean uh, in the first island, uh, which you have to have the fishing pool to do, obviously, and you don't get the fishing pool until Akala, so you have to fly back. It's just really complicated, so... On my own time, at some point, I'm gonna end up getting the rest of those totem stickers so we can see what the rest of the totems are. But that won't be for a while, because A, we need to finish Pony Island, and two, uh... Who knows, with the rate this series has been going, who knows how long it'll be. I'm assuming that, you know, probably the next four, five, six episodes will be us in Pony Island. Uh, maybe a couple more because we have to go into Ultra Space. So, which is technically part of the Pony Island story, so. We'll have to see, though. Let me just go get this sticker over here, and it looks like we do get an encounter over here. At least a land encounter. And I'm, I think that the area next to the temple is water encounters only, because I remember fishing over there, having to fish over there to get uh, Carvana when filling the Pokedex. That's just a, a memory I have. Oh, Delmai is our, is our encounter for this route. Interesting. I have never used Delmai's before. I heard it's been tearing up the VGC lately in Sword and Shield, but it has a good shiny too, but I've never used Delmai's before, so that's an interesting uh, encounter to get. I don't even know what to name it. Maybe we'll name it Jack Sparrow. 
because you know it's a pirate ship wheel. Two, three. Please stay in the ball. Ah, oh, it, it broke out after three. Oh, it's using energy ball. It's probably not the best idea for me to have my water ground type Pokemon there. That is a lot of evidence. Okay, we're going to switch out to spot D. Uh, this thing's grass type, so we're not going to be able to put it to sleep, but still, it's a good choice to put you out. To, to have spot D out. Okay, it's using anchor shot now. I can't remember. Oh, it's just. I don't. I don't remember if that's a water type move or a grass type move. All I know is that we cannot put this thing to sleep. So, let's just try an Ultra Ball again. Hopefully, it stays in. Two. Come on, you shook three times last time. Okay. Well, keep on using your anchor shot. I appreciate it. And now it's calling for help. Fantastic. Hopefully, nothing shows up. Okay, good. <laughs> When it starts falling slowly, that means that it doesn't have something coming. When it falls uh, faster, then something's definitely coming. And that time it did not even shake. And it's using Shadow Ball on us now. Fantastic. I was hoping I was hoping to get uh, whatever we were going to encounter fast. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case for us today. So I know it's only 8 levels, but let's try the Nest Ball. <laughs> didn't even shake again. Okay, now it's using Anchor Shot once more. It's not going to kill. Very close, though. I don't think we have any... F we don't have any moves that can f put Pokemon to sleep that aren't Grass-type. So, I might have to switch up to Vandy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Venusaur can't escape. Man, I did not expect an encounter to give us this much trouble this episode, but here we are with the Delmice, so... We go ahead. Ugh. Fine, we'll do a Roto HP restore. You have plenty of them. I thought we had max potions, but I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to buy more after this episode. Anchor shot again. Just really does not want us to leave. It'd be nice if it could stay in the ball, so we could just wrap this up. But let's try a Razor Leaf. It's half water, half grass. I think. No, it's a Grass Ghost. It's Grass Ghost. It just happens to live underwater. It's Grass Ghost. I remember now. I should have remembered that I was at least Ghost type. So this is Grass Ghost. One. Gosh darn it. Okay, we might have to use Razor Leaf until it gets into either the low yellow or the red. Uh, but it's going to take a couple hits to do that. <laughs> I know that there's one more encounter we can get this episode, because next episode we're going to have to go into that temple, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, Delmize avoided the Shadow Ball. Good job, Spot D. Alright, one more. One more. Okay, that was a crit, so that's all the Razor Leafs we're going to be using. It's like one dash away from being in the red, so... We're going to use another Ultra Ball. Hopefully it stays in the ball this time. Hopefully it stays in the ball. Man, if only it stayed in the ball the first time, because it shook three times. Speaking of shaking three times, we just caught it, so... Fantastical. We caught ourselves a Delmize, and thank goodness for that. We're going to have to put somebody else in the front, because Lou is very low HP. But he's learning Hydro Pump now. Okay. We're going to get rid of Bubble Beam for that. Fantastic. Hydro Pump is a fantastic move for you to learn there, Lou. Alright. Let's go ahead and name this thing before we get our last encounter for the episode. Today's episode is going to go a little bit past 20 minutes, but we should be able to survive. I hope you guys can survive. So, it is genderless, but we're going to name it Jack Sparrow. After, well, you guys, <laughs> you guys obviously know what it's named after. So, no, not two, not two P's, there are two R's in Sparrow. Ah, it's just perfect, too. Jack Sparrow. So we'll go ahead and send you to a box. I got a jar dirt. Alright. There's a TM there, but I don't think it's worth it to go after it, so. Uh, I'm going to put somebody else in the first spot. Uh, pfft. Let's just put D in the first spot, doesn't matter. 
We're just going fishing, and that's going to be the last thing we do this episode. Uh, yep, here's the fishing spot. So, hopefully we get a bite first. Oh, never mind. Just as I say it. Man, you get refused of uh, encountering something much quicker in these games. Hopefully we can actually get an encounter. Really. I feel like every time I'm about to fish at the end of an episode and knows that I'm trying to wrap up an episode and doesn't... Nothing latches on. Uh, but it looks like Kakuna is our encounter. Didn't we already catch Kakuna? No, we didn't. I feel like we caught Weedle, but... <laughs> we definitely haven't caught Beedrill. That sucks. I was hoping for something greater than a Kakuna. But you know what they say, Kakuna Rotata. So... Yeah. I was... Seriously, Kakuna can't stay in an Ultra Ball at level 20? We're using the Nest Balls, because there's no way that a Kakuna should resist a Ho-Oh out when being caught by a trainer who just wants to move on with his life. Just wants to move on with his life, so please stay in the ball. Just for me. Congratulations, you are now my favorite Pokemon, Kakuna. Just kidding, no you're not. You're a jerk. <laughs> We did it! Congratulations. Somebody pull out the Dora song. Alright. Kakuna, we're gonna name you... Um... We're gonna name you Timon. And if we find Eradicator or Eradicate, we'll name it Pumba. So we'll send you to a box. There we go, Timon. Alright. Well, this is the part where I face our trainer here to look at the screen because that's gonna do it for this episode guys man what a hectic episode for just trying to catch pokemon am i right uh but yeah that's gonna do it for this episode guys so if you did enjoy make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you're to the channel ring that notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of this series and other videos on my channel the finale for Heart Gold goes up on Wednesday I'm gonna be premiering by the way if you guys have not kept up with Heart Gold that is completely okay but if you want to see me try to take on red on Wednesday I, I don't even know what that's like yet. I haven't even recorded it. But if you want to see it, i appreciate it if you come out on Wednesday. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Here's the quote stated down below. This is Inferno Man burning out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.